name is Raul Fossi. I'm 37 years old, and I'm the founder of a young startup company called Skyview Solutions, based in Douala, in Cameroon. We applied to the 2022 African Digital Innovation Competition because we hope that through the competition, we can get the visibility necessary to attract those additional resources, both intellectual and financial, to help us develop the next phases of our application and also help us scale across Africa. To be one of the top 10 finalists of the competition is a huge honor, especially for such a young team, but it's also a big pride for our country, Cameroon. And it is, in addition to that, it's validation um, of our solution and confirmation that we're headed in the right direction. Also, it's confirmation that with a little bit of courage and a lot of determination, we can accomplish great things. Our solution is a very simple application that makes it possible for anybody, private business, uh, contractor, building a home or business anywhere around the world to access their building remotely as if they're actually there physically and be able to, to appreciate progress over time from a visual standpoint and a quantitative standpoint. Um, giving them understanding of exactly what's being done on their job site over time and what resources have been used over time. The biggest impact that our solution will have on a society as a whole is that it would significantly reduce the cost of construction in our communities by 5 to 10 percent. It would do so by reducing the amount of waste, both in time and resources experienced by most construction owners and construction managers currently in our environment. If we win the competition, I'll be extremely happy for my young team. In three years of entrepreneurship, one thing I've learned is that success is really less in the destination and more in the journey. So rather than focus on the future of what I would do, I choose to celebrate the present and the fact that we indeed have been selected among the top 10 um, companies, young companies in the continent.